Did I? Um, yeah, I guess I have another question with regard because you know neuroscientists are now saying that the the fascia is connected to the subconscious, which I guess is the soul. Yeah. So with um, therapies like that connect with the fascia, like Bowen or something that bring up an emotion. Yep. Is so how do, how does that work? How does the soul? It bypasses the brain's desire to resist. Okay. Mm. And usually the fact that a person's going to get it done is also an indication that they at least want some change. There's a desire. There's a desire. So like on a, on a um, physical level, I, I guess I'm just trying to understand how the soul... Is, is, it, is it interwoven energetically throughout our whole... No, it encompasses your two bodies. Okay. So remember I've drawn a diagram where your soul is actually, your two bodies are included within the circumference, if you like, of your soul. Mm. So you've got, a, you got your spirit body and your physical body, they're in, in, enveloped by your soul, right? Yeah. Okay. So the bodies, there's a whole heap of things that happen to your bodies as a result of the soul's emotion. Yeah. Because I have had another treatment, which was a um, it was a chiropractor, but it was very gentle. It wasn't yep. bone, so she was working on yep. the energetic, um, the spinal cord, really, which my body contorted and I released like a whole lot of stuff that I don't even know what it was. Um, was was that effective? Was I doing? Was it? Did anything? it change your life? Well, I, f I feel more relaxed. But yeah, I don't but know if it changed. Um, did it, anything in your life change? You're um, same I feel different. So, yeah. There are things. There are times when spirits are attached in certain places, and they okay. can become detached and so forth. But the reality is, unless you've had an emotional experience, yeah, there's not going to be a change in your life. Yeah. Or isn't? Yeah, no, it was emotional. It was emotional as well. Yeah, so but it's the emotion that resulted the change in your life. Yeah, okay. Now, them doing their particular manipulation triggered the emotion. Yeah, yeah. It but, it, but it was you experiencing the emotion that causes the change. Yeah. You follow? Yeah. So, yeah, for the very first time, for, for when I was 33, I was very shut down emotionally. So I decided to go and get some body work done. And what I found with that is it did help me bypass the fact that I went there, obviously opened up things as well, but, but it helped me bypass my mind's desire to shut the whole process down. Does that make sense? Yeah, and that, I, think, I think that's what... Because I'd been trying but, for so long to... But can I be frank with you about it? Yeah. It's only going to work to a point. Yeah. Because unless you're willing to deal with the soul's, base, soul's emotional resistances, the resistances will remain. Mm. and therefore establish themselves over what happens. Mm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So, so while it helped me get started to feel my emotions, there was a, it got to a point where I could not feel any more emotion doing it. Mm. And yeah. that told me, well, now I've hit all my resistances without changing those, and now I've had to change those. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And, and no amount of therapy after that point is going to help me. Yeah. You follow? Yeah. Because well, it, cause it's an internal exercise of the soul's will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Everything is very dependent on the soul's will. So while some physical therapies may actually work at different times, it depends greatly upon your soul's willingness to experience the emotion. And that's all about whether your soul's avoiding the emotion or not. Yeah. Now, I've got 